organizer put it together to help young singles find new partners and to show there's always a chance to be happy and just have fun. Single participants were asked to come out an hour before the actual. They in there, boy. They in it, boy. They in it. They was in it, wasn't they? <laughs> With a turtleneck on. Man, getting it in. Just, I like you. I like you a lot, too. How you did it, bro? <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? But what up? What up? What up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross, and we're in the Clutch, baby. Hey, back to you, ladies and gentlemen. Another visit today. You feel me? Happy Best. Valentine's Day, man. Damn, Except before I can even get into yeah, it, yeah, you, you, you're yeah. so excited. It's so yeah, exciting. Know, There's nothing wrong with that, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Day of love, man. This is this is our day. We spread love, be love. So it's the yeah. day of love. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, man. So since. It is the day of love, and you know, you should be showing love every day to the people you love and care about, not just only on this particular day. But since Wanted. today is Valentine, uh, Valentine, Valentine's Day, best Valentine's Day news bloopers. This should be very interesting. We had to check it out specifically on this day, you know, and we're going to see how people are showing love, you know, during the, the newscast. This should be very interesting. No, nah, it definitely should be, man. But if you guys mm -hmm. are enjoying the channel and the videos, Hit yeah. that like button. Lo love the like button. You yes. feel me? And, yes. and put down some hearts down below for, yes. for the day of love. You feel me? We got yes. uh, some pretty cold temperatures here um, from yep. what I'm seeing on this video. <laughs> so let's get into these bad boy, man. Let's do it. Funny. Rob Gronkowski. Love oh, and groceries. Mask his fast. All of this and more. Oh, I, whoa, 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 a mass kiss fest. Oh, this, this is old. This is back in the day. You can tell with the, uh, yeah, you can. All right, look. Bring that back. Oh, that's in Russia. Never mind. They do things different in Russia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My boy got his head on her shoulder right there in the yellow. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, into kiss it. Fest. All of this and more starting now. Valentine's Day just days away, and this morning we're in studio with Christina Christian. We are getting ready to impress everyone come Wednesday, hump day, also known as Valentine's Day. Yes. So <laughs> with the Wednesday too. forthcoming Valentine's Day very much in mind, meteorologist Ella Dorsey is keen to share her findings about the forecast. Okay. Let's take a look at tomorrow, okay? It is gonna be Atlanta. really nice. Even warmer, upper 60s, LaGrange could hit 70. We'll see increasing clouds, but man, is it going to be nice. Ladies, you're trying to figure out what to wear? You can go with a little bit more of the Hoochie Mama outfit, okay? Because you're not gonna need all the extra layers. The Hoochie Mama right? outfit. Upper 60s tomorrow. Now, how long will... Well, you heard the news, lady. Get the hoochie in, lady. Get, to, get it. Get the it's... hoochie in. More yeah. thighs to save the lives. What are you doing? In Listen. Gainesville. Yeah. This last? Probably not very long. I'll take a look at some of these storms on the way at the end of the You're week. Courtney Jacobazzi is here now. She's got an accident for us in DeKalb County. <laughs> we do. I don't know. Hoochie Mama is the, my favorite thing I think I've ever heard you say on television so far. <laughs> As we said, it is Valentine's Day, one of the busiest days for restaurants right, as well. <laughs> and if you're making last-minute dinner plans, you may have a hard time getting in some of the titties in some, oh. in some of the oh. city's top spots. We checked around at some local... Oh. Some of them titties. That's what he's talking about. Them titties. Make sure you make your reservation so you can get inside them titties. Them titties. Mm. Restaurants. Meanwhile, right. elsewhere in West Virginia, things are rapidly coming to some sort of head. Well, finally today, hundreds of couples and singles gathered at a St. Petersburg Square over the weekend oh. to take part in a mass kissing event. Oh. But the event wasn't meant to break any records. The organizer put it together to help young singles find new partners and to show there's always a chance to be happy and just have fun. Single participants were asked to come out an hour before the actual... They in there, boy. They in it, boy. They in it. They was in it, wasn't they? <laughs> <laughs> With a turtleneck on. Man, getting it in. Just, I like you. I like you a lot, too. How you did it, bro? <laughs> this nigga weird, bro. <laughs> 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 
dog. <laughs> I am done. When your head doing it, though. When your head doing this. Yeah. Oh yeah, you in it, bro, man. Yeah. That's a turtleneck sweater. Crazy. She got the glasses on. That's crazy. I would have never known that's some type of event like that where you. That's how people meet up. You know, we kiss each other. <laughs> Going kissing part of the event Damn. with a badge in the shape of a heart to show they weren't attached. Whoa. Some carried red heart-shaped balloons to attract some sure extra attention. Attached. A whole series of no, no, no. questions was set Uh-oh. up to show well, interest. Up. Could... Off the ground. Got her in a good position. Like, yeah, come yeah. here. You yeah. mind. Yeah. yeah. Get yeah. over here. Get <laughs> and to keep here. people from having to ask those awkward first questions like, where are you from? What's your sign? You know. Oh, what do you do if you see your boyfriend out there oh. with a heart on, kissing some other girl? No. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'd be a little bit angry, I'd have to say. Would not. Hey, yo. Not with the heart on. This was in 07. Hey, bring that back. <laughs> bring it back. I'm not going to that event. Well, no. Why would you? No. Couples were there. Oh, for Oh, yeah. That's what they said. It was couples and singles. Damn, that's well, you know, if you're in that's your type of relationship, that's your type of relationship, but that's that's kind of wild. Who, who, who are we to judge? Yeah, yeah, I'm not here to judge you. Whatever, whatever's working for you, let it work, man. Let it work. Let it work. Go for Not it. be cool. They all seem to be very excited. Wow, yeah, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I made a lot of friends. Yeah, as if his morning hasn't been interesting Awkward enough out. already. Suddenly, out of nowhere, anchor Rob Cardwell is loosening right up. Michelle Frankel is a matchmaker in New York City. She says she uses a combination of logic and intuition to match people, but the cost for her services range from $7,500 to $30,000, but it could be worth it. She ain't no. out your goddamn mind to be Bro. paying somebody $7,000 plus for some matchmaking. What? Man, you better go to just go outside. Just go outside. Right. <laughs> You can do that for free and you can meet people anywhere. You can meet someone at a park while you're walking your dog. You know, back in the day, you could meet people at a gym because you have a similarity <laughs> working out. But now people yeah, have ruined that. So don't do the gym, but you can be, meet people at a coffee shop, meet someone at a bookstore. You meet someone at a restaurant. It doesn't matter. You can meet people literally anywhere. Hell, you can meet people online on yeah. Instagram. You don't even have to do that. If you don't want to, but you don't have to pay someone seven thousand plus dollars for them to tell you some bullshit and look up some bullshit analytics to tell you how you can meet someone and this is this is your match. You better get married. It does if once you pay somebody seven thousand dollars, they better assure marriage at the end of that whatever agreement that y'all have. That's not big facts, big facts. He has an eighty percent success rate. Oh, that's pretty good. 80% 80% no, sex rate. Sex, sex, oh, 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 he was 80% sex rate. He heard yeah. something else. Uh, he, uh, you better be clapping some cheeks. Yeah. Off the first meeting. Hey, you you the person she set me up with? All right, we have a good time. All right, you know what's up. I spent $7,000, baby girl. Yeah. How much you spend? Somebody coming off of something. You spent 7000 too? So we we both spent some money. All right, right. cool. Uh, let's 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 make sure it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Oh, Freudian slip. <laughs> Success rate. You said it slipped. Yikes. Now you said slipped. Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. That's going on there. Yeah, it is. It's there. Let's you just move know. on, shall we? Yeah, it's okay, Can man. Can we please move on? Nope, <laughs> nope. nope. I'll move on now. here. If you're single and ready to mingle, <laughs> golly, did that go right into this next story? Yeah. Uh, Lidl is playing <laughs> Cupid this Valentine's Day. The grocery chain is partnering with Richmond-based dating service It Singles Takes event. Two to help you find love. Well, uh, single people who attend the happy hour what? event will get to enjoy it. Well, what? Let's well, say, say Chardonnay? Damn. That's some cheap God ass Chardonnay. God damn. That's cheap as hell. For two sixty nine. Yeah, bro. I don't know, man. That's kind of wild. Yeah, <laughs> Man, you you basically make drinking it. water, nigga. <laughs> to help you find love. Uh, single people who attend the happy hour event will get to enjoy guided wine tasting and a master class, as well as hear dating advice from <laughs> Reba. Stop it. From chief matchmakers at the website It Takes Two. They'll also have palm readings, and the first 30 people will get a Lidl oh, gift card. Man. Happy hours from 6 to 8 at the Lidl store on West Broad near uh, Staples Mill. And bring your grocery list. So if you don't find love, at least you can find something on sale you there. Grocery shopping. <laughs> Rob, we all knew what Chardonnay. you meant. We all knew what you meant. 
Success rate. Success rate. Success rate. I just had to ask, since he'll be here through the weekend, where does Gronk go for Valentine's Day? What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Um, whoa. That was, whoa. What are you doing? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, some of those involved. Yeah, not better. the kitty little... <laughs> what you doing? You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to Gronk. celebrate this new ring I just got. Fucking grown big ass. <laughs> That's just That's funny. Childish. Or for worse, this is turning into a Valentine's Day that they're not going to forget. Uh oh. There's a new way for couples to have some fun together. As Lauren shakes her head on Valentine's Day, a yoga studio is offering. Oh jeez. <laughs> naked yoga classes. Uh, gross. Yeah. Why is that gross? Nobody All knows. the ladies say gross. All the guys are going, yeah. Yeah. Down dog. Yeah. Uh, the studio has been offering a co-ed naked yoga for a while now, but the owner says it's the perfect time to try it. I guess the warrior pose would be appropriate there, wouldn't it? Ugh. Uh, <laughs> Golly. Golly. Golly's right. They tell the Huffington Post Damn. that getting in the door is the hard part. Ooh. It's a welcoming atmosphere <laughs> once you try it's it. It's a hard what they part. Say. <laughs> Not the what puns, would be, he said dude. that with a serious face. It's Dog, a hard, hard part. part. <laughs> and the ladies in the back, man, just say you single. <laughs> just say you single, man. They like, ugh. 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 <laughs> All right, bro. Damn. Hey, man. Man. Hey, you ain't got no one to take you. Go to that naked ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> the best pose for naked I yoga. Not happy, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's cold as hell. Yeah, you yeah, need to be naked that's nowhere. No, no, that's a real lap, bro. This is live. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm so sorry for that visual. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the weather later. It's cold outside. Yeah, y'all can read. Y'all can read the numbers, niggas. Hold on. She said, I got to talk about the weather later. It's cold outside. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, you and see dip. it. You see it. You ain't buying. Yeah. They don't need to hear it. Just, hey, look. It's cold, nigga. Put it it's on the jacket. 27. Oh, God. Oh. Let's get back to the death and destruction. Oh, that's jacket. That's funny. Hey, yo. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's try this again. It's 20 outside. What are you talking about? Your forecast. I am so sorry about that. Look at that, that one. Oh, right there we go. No, no. Oh, stop. Wow. Waka oh, yeah. Yogi? Yeah. Yeah. That's the type of news I like right there. Waka Yogi. Fuck they're not the doing, weather. They not doing this position naked. Shit, yeah, yeah, might as well. This it ain't Yogi if you ain't in it. If it ain't, it ain't, it ain't Yogi if you can't pokey. Yeah, facts, facts. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Troy Diggs for the win. Uh, I gotta stop. I'm done. Done for real. I'm done. Yeah. Sure, tip your waiter. That's it. Oh my god. just called. You're next. Woo! Nick. No, I don't want to be, don't wanna be, be next. next. Oh. No, man. Give us a pose. No. 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 Oh, man. Okay. It's looking like a nice day to maybe head outside with your uh, significant other or whoever you want to hang out with. And then uh, the weekend, so far, so good. Should be dry, but in the 40s. So it was slow and slutty. Slutty? <laughs> Steady. Ooh. Steady. The race. Ooh. Slutty. Slutty. I know what's on your mind, baby girl, when you get off slow these, and slutty. These, these ankles are something it. else, huh? I love it. Tell us how you really feel without telling us how you really feel. She's she trying to get it. slow and slutty. That's that's tough. That's man, put that on a t-shirt, Valentine's Day. I want you slow and slow. Wait, that's all. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Wait a minute. That didn't come out put right. In her drink. She don't even know it, huh? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Nigga Ross on the remix. Rick Ross featuring Ross. The chosen one. Just put the slutty part. Leave the slow yeah, out of it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> see what you want. No. See what you meant. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Danielle.
As things turn out on this particularly <laughs> normal really morning, guys. meteorologist Boom. Henry DiCarlo has arrived oh, to find people alone, already Henry waiting Di to help Carlo? him. Yeah. As Cupid, <laughs> I feel like it's my duty to give you some last minute Valentine's Day gift ideas. And that's why I've asked our friends over at Fred. That's why I did this, right? <laughs> I decided I was going to ask my friends over at Fredericks of Hollywood to stop by this morning to help me with the seven day forecast. So, uh, yes. Cora and Renee. Hold on, fam. I like this. I watch it like? every day. What are they like Victoria's Secret models or something? Like I don't give a damn. I'll watch the news. I, I got the weather app on my phone. I won't need it no more. I'm watching the news again. You're a horn dog, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. Look at this, bro. They just tell me it's hot outside, baby girl. What's in, <laughs> yeah. in your head blocking the uh the girl to the left? Oh man, I'm blocking the good I stuff. I got y'all. There we go. I got <laughs> uh, enjoy it for a few seconds. Right. Um, and as Frank Buckley would say, I am just doing this for the home viewers. Yeah. So, yeah. ladies, welcome. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get out of the way. Why don't we just show the uh, seven day outlook, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at here. I'm going to get out of the way. So you guys point. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday, 59 degrees. Point. Wednesday. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. That looks good. 63 on your Saturday. And uh, temperature wise, there, there we go for the Orange County coastal areas. Look at that. They're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, it's chilly. That's right. 59 degrees uh, today. Wednesday, chance of some rain showers. Suddenly, Sam's like, why did I get into the entertainment business? Oh, he wants to be a weatherman. So that's a look at the forecast. Um, and uh, if you're looking for any last minute gift ideas for that special someone, yeah. head over to Fredericks of Hollywood. They have locations all over Southern California. For more information, you can click on the red info button at KTLA.com. And, and you know what? You'll have plenty of opportunity. Oh, you like even Michaela comes in here for this to take a picture. <laughs> Michaela, <laughs> Fredericks of Hollywood, locations all over Southern California. And, uh, oh, you want to put me, look at Jimmy's. <laughs> right, anyway, what's going on? if you need more information, <laughs> just go to uh, KTLA.com. Ladies, thank you very much uh, for being here today. Thank you. you guys can thank stop by any time for the seven day outlook. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> all right, I hope this I was bet. worth it. Megan, you're. Uh, <laughs> What? Wait till we get I'm someone in the picture right now. Yes, I'm sure you are. It's All right, we'll send it back over to uh, Ginger Chan. Talk. I love it. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Bro, he couldn't so, get he it out. He's get a, it. Uh, uh. Whenever you, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, this was a good one, man. This was a very good one. No, hey, man. definitely hilarious, bro. We, we're trying to spread the love on Valentine's Day, man. And uh, shout sure. out to these news anchor uh personalities out there trying to spread the love as well <laughs> i'm spreading it all right but no yeah. man, if y'all enjoyed the video man spreading again, the cheeks yes sir make sure you uh love the like button yes let us know what else we need to be checking out man keep on mm -hmm. spreading love as usual mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. as usual keep god first never forget that and we catch y'all in the next video peace out Already. If Bessie's from Houston, if you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.